Okay, I'm cutting a couple of picture frames for my uh, oldest daughter, and it's a it's a shadow type frame. Let me see if I can show you this profile here. So it's got that little profile like that, and so then your your it gives you that shadow box effect, I guess. So. Um, the, the key thing with cutting anything anything that's got 45 degree miters is you want them to be obviously a, a good clean 45 but then you also want them to be identical lengths so my method here um, is that I've got my first piece set in the uh, miter saw here and I've got a I've got a screw clamp hand screw clamp here to hold it in place to make that first cut to keep it from uh, migrating into the blade because the blade is going to want to uh, is going to tend to pull it into the cut so my first cut is holding it in place that way and let me make that for you here and then I'll show you how I make identical cuts Alright, so that's my first cut, nice and clean, 45. And you can see that I'm in no big hurry to make this cut. I'm not chopping it off. I'm, I'm, com I'm coming through nice and easy. And once I'm, once I'm sure that that waste piece is clear, I can bring the blade up. But doing it on the other end, you've got to be a little more careful. So now I'm just going to rotate these. Clean off this. You're going to make sure you clean off any nibs. And I'm going to slide them down to my uh, my stop down here. All right, so my cut length on this particular uh, piece is 35 and three quarter. So I made my mark here. That's my inside dimension, 35 and three quarter. And then I I cut the miter away from the line. So I'll take now. Let me show you my setup down here. These are a couple of, of waste pieces I had. And I'll take my stop off here and let that out of the way and then get these out of the way. And I've got nothing more than a, a drop piece here that I cut at 45 degrees, same as I did before, flipped it around, and then I use another piece of scrap to form my, uh, my stop. So I'm going to get this set up on the line. You won't be able to see me do that, but I'm going to drop my blade down until I get, get it where I want it. Which is right there. Hold this. Bring this up. Bring this stop up and tighten it. Make sure I'm good there. And now I'm now I should be fine. And I'll hand use some hand screws to hold these pieces in place. Doesn't take much. Okay, so now I know if I were doing, you know, a hundred of these pieces, they could, they would all be identical. But I've got it, I've got it stopped here so that as my blade comes down, and I make this cut down here, the blade is going to want to push that piece away, but it can't because I've got a positive stop there.
Now with this one, when I'm cutting this and you've got this piece here, I make sure that that blade comes to a stop. I've learned the hard way a few times. If you pull it up too quick, you can catch this piece and jam it. You know, bust it, it goes flying, you can ruin your piece. So just let the blade come to a stop and you should be good. And you can see here, you can just see some of that line, pencil line. Right here, you can see a little bit of it. So I, my mark should be, my cut should be good. I'm just going to go double check it first. Make sure I, if I err, I want to err long. But this looks pretty good. It looks like I'm right on that line, and I'll be right back. That cut was right on the money, so now I'll take my other piece, which will be the, the matching side, slide it in here, make sure it's tight. We'll make this cut and we'll have two identical pieces. two sides and then I'll have a nice frame maybe I'll show you those after I'll show I will not maybe I will show you what they look like after I get them glued up all right here's my uh, this is actually the smaller frame uh, it looks pretty pretty good it's going to be painted so I'm not real concerned about you know these being absolutely perfect Although three out of the four are, are really, really good. And then this one here is just a little bit open uh, to the inside, but I'm not gonna worry about that. That glue will take care of that and uh, it'll look good. So this one measures, I gotta get my piece of paper here. Twenty-four by thirty-five and three-quarter. I'm just going to grab a tape and put that on there. That's thirty-five and three-quarter. That's twenty-four. We are in good shape. 